Alright, I'm right back. This is gonna be episode 12. And I don't know. Let's see what's next. Um, it looks like on the map, if I go left, it's going to be. Yeah, nothing. So I gotta go right here. Go full screen again. Beaker Straight Cat Crasshopper. So we're making our way, I believe, to Narshe still. After uh, we witnessed what we just saw. Which is pretty heavy for a... Uh... I don't know if you'd call it a kid's stick game, but... I mean, I guess they didn't have the rating system they do now back in 1994. However, it's still pretty... Pretty heavy content. Alright, we got a little mountain pass here we're gonna go into. After we kill these things. It seems like I've been playing for like two and a half hours, so that's because I had to do the one episode over again. But it went probably about ten minutes faster the second go through. I think it was ran less random battles, and I didn't talk to as many ghosts because I knew they were going to attack me. Shadow King knew I looked good. That puts him at 224. Alright, we got some kind of a cave. It looks like I can hear water in the distance. Baron Falls. Save it. This must be Baron Falls. Cyan. To the south is the Velt. Dangerous creatures there. Sabin. And the Empire's right on our tails. Cyan. If we can slip through the Velt, we can reach the town of Mobliz to the east. Shadow. I have served my purpose. Sabin says, Shadow. Thanks for your help. Let's join ranks again sometime. Shadow doesn't even nod, just takes off. Shadow gone. Jump? Why not? Gotta progress the story somehow. There he goes. Oh, we're gonna battle on the way down with some piranhas. With some floating slash falling piranhas. More piranhas. Let's do an aura bolt. Aura bolt's like, I feel like it's touching with the blitz inputs. Sometimes it doesn't. Yep, it doesn't like. You can't get your thumb to smooth over the buttons correctly. Now, obviously, if you don't do that, it's a waste of turn. More piranha. So, pummel's the easiest. Left, right, left, A. That's simple. Suplex is, I think, a bit stronger. However, if they're flying. You won't pick him up, you just miss. Let's try our bolt again. There it is. It does a little bit more damage than Pummel's doing. I think Pummel was like 320, that was 399, so almost 400. In the long run, I'm hitting, killing these things with one shot anyway, so it doesn't really make a difference. Shit, it's like a it's like a master oh mega volt. That's not that bad. Ice. Rizo pass. 
40 is not great. Let me try Aura Bolt this time now. Oh, never mind. I was simple. I guess, I guess, I guess the bat, the, the last battle itself isn't really that big a deal. It's more of the gauntlet of all the fishes. Remedy times one, tonic times one. Here we are, washing ashore. We only see Sabin. Does that mean he's alone again? We've reached the Velt. And this young man. Draped in monsters' hides, eyes shining with intelligence. A youth surviving against all odds. Gaw. Huh? And you are? He takes off. So we still have we still have cyan. Uh, I am gonna save. I'm gonna save. I think here now because I have two episodes in, so I'm back on top. I think. Okay. So the very far right to the east looks like Mobile is. <clears throat> I'm not sure what's on the other side of this continent. Two Templars, two soldiers. Counter. Oh, I should use I should have used some healing. Ooh, blocked. Not blocked. Hit the back guy. Thank you. <clears throat> oh shit, he's dead. Two eighty two counter. Thirty something, thirty six. Alright, that's right. I mean it's not great, but five hundred gold on the drain. Item Phoenix down, which I have eight still. Potion full. Full. the Velt, I think, has just a bunch of random enemies. I think it's just uh, odds that we got two sets of humanoid enemies, I think. 412, nice, gah, gah, wow. Ooh, I'm hungry. Do I have anything to get him? Tell me to be not hungry anymore. No, I don't. Attack him, that's for sure. Ooh, I'm hungry. I don't have anything, bro. I don't even know what you want. Tonic? You want a, to uh, you want a tonic? It's not very good to eat. Ooh, I'm hungry still. I know you're hungry. I don't know what to tell you. Should I attack him? I don't want to attack him. Wow! Wow! You, strangers, go away. You scare animals. So I guess I was supposed to attack him? I'm not positive. But, I know we have Mobiles. Let me do some something down here real quick. Sandray and Arianad. I 
Mm-hmm. You were, you were suplex, suplex the sand ray before? That's about to happen. Oh, yeah. Boing. 424, I'll take that all day. So I'm getting no XP, I think, from these battles. Lobo and Mammoth. Go a little farther south, see if there's anything I'm missing. I don't think so. This is gonna be a dead end, I have a feeling, too. There is a cave right there. Probably should have just. Ooh, okay. Whoops. 25 is not bad. Probably should have just went to the town. He's gonna counter me. For 30. Maybe if there's like a th uh, damage threshold that the counter doesn't work anymore. Well, 424 didn't let counter work, so that's good. Yeah, so I'm not getting any XP, and I can't get through that. No. Alright, so I gotta go back. I'm sure that cave is after the town. <laughs> Suplex these sword, these armor dudes. 197, that's it. Tech laser's not good. That's gonna be hurt. That's gonna be 71, it's not terrible. Pummel's better. Six. Potion times two. I like that. <laughs> Mobilis, is that Mobilis? Lobo and Guard. Pincher attack, so that means I can't run. Easy. They're not, uh, I almost think they're on the same level as when I first saw them in Narsha because they're not hitting from very hard at all. Like I said earlier, I think that the Velt is just a conglomeration of just a bunch of random monsters. Let me save real quick since I'm right here. We had low blizz. Let's check this place out. You came via Baron Falls. Unbelievable. It's flowing like there's no tomorrow. What's that gonna do? Only a carrier pigeons link our village to the outside. Okay, well, do you have one? Whatever, bro. The inn. Oh, Shadow took my. What are they called? Sprint shoes, so that's not good. You look tired. 100 GP for a snooze? Sure. I'll do that. Take full health. For 100 GP. So I have to buy some more sprint shoes. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. There's gotta be a relic shop in this place. I should've, I should've unequipped him. I didn't know I was gonna lose him, of course, but party. This dude says, let us tell us that war has broken out. Okay. She says, you stopped by the house up in the far north. The guy there's Tad Psycho. Threw his own kid out, thinking it was a monster. This dude says, this region is called the Velt. Monsters from all over the world migrate here. And we've sort of seen that already. Weapon shop. Attached to the armor shop. Mithril knife. Mithril blade. Mithril claw. Kotetsu. Okay. 
So I can get a Mithril Claw and the Kotetsu. I still have some gold left over. So I am going to equip the Kotetsu, which is uh, 9 battle power uh, increase. And Metal Knuckle and Mithril Claw, which is another 10. I think... No, I can't. I thought I could do a claw on each hand, but I cannot. And conveniently, the armor shop is right next door. So, he has that equipped. Saban cannot use a metal heavy bus shield. Magus hat. Obviously, I think only mage is going to use that. Bandana does not help anybody that I have. Iron Helmet would help Cyan. Iron Armor would also help Cyan. But those are 1700 total. And I need 1500 for the sprint shoes. So I'm going to hold off. What did I buy? Iron Helmets. 4 defense. Another 3 to magic defense. Not worth 1000 dollars. Or a thousand, fifteen hundred, whatever the hell it was. Not worth it. Although I could sell some of this sh stuff. Metal knuckle. Alright, let me see what I. Let's see if there's a, even a relic shop here, which I hope there is. But there may not be, I don't know. Alright, we've got another dude and a dog. Out hunting, I noticed a kid running with a herd of beasts. His parents his parents know where he is? Question mark. Dog just barks at me. Item shop. I threw some dried meat into a herd of hungry animals, and some kid emerged and grabbed it. So, he said he's hungry. I need dried meat. Dried meat, 150 a pop. I don't know how many I'm going to need. So, let me get tree right now. Tonic I'm still good on. No shurikens here. Green cherry. I dropped stuff dark. I should take a couple of those because dark sucks. You, get, you miss all your attacks when you have dark on. It's fine. I need... Got a pigeon. What's this dude saying? Strong currents run through the Serpent Trench. Heard about it? No. Okay, where am I going? What's, what's happening? That must be the Serpent Trench then. Hop into the current and you'll be swept to Nikia. Too bad our underwater breathing device was stolen. Of course you have an underwater breathing device. Why wouldn't you? Uh, is there anything over here I can sneak into? No. So let's go into the carrier pigeon house. I'm at your service. I send things all over the world. The elixir, that's nice. What's in the basement here, bud? Another guy. Putting stuff away, I guess. The entrance to the Serpent Trench is south of Crescent Mountain. Crescent Mountain is must, must have been the uh, thing we saw that I, didn't, I couldn't go get to. The cave we saw. Nothing here. Dude's got my sprint shoes on. The kid says, keep your voices down. Okay, you don't tell him to do. Soldier in here is hurt pretty bad. Soldier in there, all right. What's this lady doing? Some soldiers wandered here, but busted up pretty bad, too. Doesn't look good. Only the letters coming from the town of Miranda are keeping him going. Okay. Town of Miranda, soldier. Injured lad. I'm from Miranda. The Empire invaded... 
and made me join their army. I fled when I heard we were making for Doma. They caught me and did this. Now I can't even move. I'll never see Lola again. On the desk is a letter. Will you please read it? It's weird. Oh, read it to him. I can't get used to Imperial troopers walking the streets of Miranda, but otherwise things are okay. Flowers are blooming in the garden, telling me spring is here. How are you doing? I'm so worried I wish I could be fly to your side. Rest and know that I think about you constantly. Come back to me. Signed, Lola. I'd like to write her back, but I can't even pick up a pen. Well, Saving knows how to write. Maybe. I don't know if it is or not. Alright, so I can go up and get out of here, kid. Oh, a little garden. Nice. Dwayne and Kat Katrin are both 16 and in love. This must be Dwayne and Katrin. Dwayne. It says nothing. Katrin. Katrin. Says nothing. Huh? Guess they're too busy. Staring into each other's eyes to notice. Big buff Saban staring down at him. This relic shop? Yes, please. Sprint shoes. Oh, man. My back hurts. Why, Kate? What does this do? I don't even tell me what it does. Sprint shoes allow a person to sprint. Yeah, I gotta do that. Uh, equip. I can always take them. Whoops. I can always take them off. Oh, I want to get into the world. Because the world doesn't... You don't run faster in the world just in this, in this part. So, um, kid needs me to send a letter. Postage to Miranda is 500 GP. Gonna send a letter for that soldier, right? Yeah. So that was it? Okay, must have done it. Um, how much do I got left? 152? Yeah, I'm buying shit then. minutes. Um, I want to head down to that crescent, um, uh, crescent cave. So let me, uh, come on. Let me put a break in here, and, uh, yeah, I'll head down there next.